with Crafty Ladybug. Today's lesson is going to be on the cotton candy charm. For the cotton candy charm here that I'm demoing today, you will need 10 white rubber bands, 9 rubber bands for the inside construction of your cotton candy, and 56 bands in the color of your choice to make the fluffy stuff on the outside. This is the standard one. This is what I would call a deluxe model. If you decided to do the deluxe model, it is a little bit fuller, actually a lot fuller, and it takes double the amount of rubber bands. So instead of using 56 rubber bands in pink or whatever color, you would do 56 rubber bands in one color and 56 rubber bands in another color. Before we begin this project, I'd like for you guys to take your fluffy color, whatever color you're using for the fluff. Today I'm using purple, so my cotton candy is going to be grape, grape flavor today. I want you guys to make 14 piles. I'm sorry, yeah, 14 piles of four rubber bands. So just gr gather up four rubber bands and set them beside your work area, as I have over here. Set them beside your work area in little piles. Our loom is going to be set in the offset configuration with the arrows pointing towards our body. And we're going to begin. To begin, I'd like for you to take one of your bands that you're using for the inside color. Today I'm using pink, just so it shows up better on video. Pink and let it dangle over your center peg right here. You want to take an additional four bands. You want to take four of your purple bands and you want to lay it on that center peg also. Then you want to take a single pink, one pink, and run it from center one to center two. A single pink and run it from center one to left one. A single pink and run it from center one to right one. Let me turn a little bit more light on there for you guys. Four additional bands and lay it on each of these three pegs. So there's four pegs on left one. I mean, I'm sorry, four bands on peg left one, four bands going on to center two and four bands going on to right one, and just push those down. Our next step is going to be to take a single pink band and go from left one to left two. A single pink band from center two to center three. A single pink band from right one to right two. Now we need to go back to our fluffy color and we're going to add four bands on left two, four bands on center three, and four bands on right two. Back to our single pinks. We're going to go from left two to center three in a diagonal. We're going to go from right two to center three on a diagonal. And just push those down, push everything down a little bit. Next, we want to take three white bands and we're going to go from center three to center four. Two white bands coming down the center. Two white bands coming down the center. A single band that we're going to double twist and stretch out over coming down the center. Another single band double twisted coming down the center. And on the very end we need to do a four time cat band. You can wrap it around your peg four times or you can use your hook for this process. Oh, and I just messed up all my rubber bands, but that's okay. Take your hook and run it through the center of the peg and you want to twist and hook, twist and hook, twist 
and hook. So you want to wrap a band around your hook four times. Stretch that out and place that over that last peg as your cap band. Now we're going to be ready to loop. Reach in, come forward, reach in, come forward. Nothing difficult about this part. It's just your basic single chain. You're looping forward. And then we want to stop right here. You want to reach in and get that top pink band. And it is going off to the right. Top pink band, next band. And it is going off to the left. And then our center band is still down there. Before we go get our center band, you want to take four of your fluffy color and you want to place it over center peg number three. Now that we have those four additional bands placed over center peg number three, we're going to reach in, hold back your purple bands. You don't want to loop those forward. You're going to reach in and grab your pink that's down there. And you're going to wiggle it out and loom forward to the center. Now we are ready to add our additional purple bands. I'm going to start off on the left, placing my four bands over left peg number two, holding them back because they can be a little unruly at this point. Reach in, grab your pink band, wiggle it out, and loop forward. I'm going to do the center peg next, placing four bands over center two, holding them back, reaching in to get my pink band, and I'm coming forward. Now I need to do our right peg, and that's going to be right number two. Gets four bands placed on it. If you miss a band, that's okay. It's not gonna be detrimental. Reach in, grab that pink band underneath, we go out and loop forward. Now we've got our last three pegs to finish up. I'm gonna start off on the left by adding four bands again. Reach in, grab that diagonal, come to the center. For the right, I need four bands. Reach in, grab that pink band going diagonal to the center and here we have the center one that we need to do and somewhere I added an extra band it's not a big deal you should be adding four but I'm only adding three at the current moment somewhere I added an extra band in there so just place your bands that you have left on that top center peg hold them back with your thumb and we need to reach in and we need to get that pink dangle band that's way down there at the bottom. So reach in through all of that stuff, pushing it back with your hook. And you want to grab that pink dangle band that's at the very end. You want to pull it up and through, wiggle it out. You've got the other end on your finger. Place them both on your hook. And this is what we're going to use to slip knot off the product. Take your closest band towards your fingers and just loop it over and slip knot that off. Now we're ready to pull our creation off the loom. And we have got a nice fluffy piece of cotton candy. If you wanna make it fluffier, you just simply spread out and tug a little bit on the bands just to spread them out evenly over things. If you don't like where your dangle band is sitting, just push it up through in a different area. And if you wanted to add more so that you had more color, such as this one, you would have to do double the amount of bands. So where we placed four, you would actually be placing eight on every peg that we placed four. Four of one color, four, four of another color. So here is our 
bloomed version of the cotton candy. I hope you guys will visit the loomless version of the cotton candy that I have here. And some other fun products that I have for the summertime theme is popcorn in a little bucket. And I've got our single, double, and triple dipped ice cream cones. So I hope you'll stick around and watch those. Post photos of your creations on my Facebook page at Crafty Ladybug Rainbow Loom Creations. That's my Facebook page. Or Instagram at Crafty Ladybug. And you can even visit me on the web at www.craftyladybugcreations.com. See you soon.